Distance runner Hobbs Kessler was a star in high school with a lot of people seeing his future in the Olympics, but his young talent at a young age didn't just carry him to the big stage. Jack Doles tells us how the bumps in the road to Paris are just as notable for Hobbs' journey. The road from phenom to greatness is often bumpy. For every LeBron James, there's a Johnny Manziel. Olympic hopeful Hobbs Kessler jumped on that road when he ran a sub four minute mile in high school. We got him in the meet in Arkansas with nine other guys, really good professionals. And he ended up fourth and he ran 357 and he set the national high school record. Everybody said, who is this kid? Where is he from? Ann Arbor, Michigan is the answer to that. Kessler started working with legendary Michigan track coach Ron Warhurst during COVID. By his senior year in high school, he went from winning multiple state championships to the Olympic trials. Then the road got bumpy. I was so mentally burnt out from um, so much exciting stuff happening like in uh, the months leading up to it. and making some really big life decisions, and I, I was just kind of out of bandwidth. One of the big decisions Hobbs made was skipping college and turning pro. He failed to make the U.S. Olympic team. Not long after that, he suffered an injury. These kind of bumps can break a career, unless you have the mental toughness to persevere. But that might be Hobbs' biggest strength. Like, I'm, I'm glad I've, I've been through it now because I, I know what to do. Ask any person that's injured frequently, it, it's almost a skill to be able to carry your fitness through and being able to stay sharp mentally. When he works out now, he trains his body, his fitness, and his mind. And the results have him on track to make his first Olympic team. In the last eight months, Hobbs won the mile at the World Road Racing Championships and finished third at the World Indoors in the 1500. And then in February, he ran the Wanamaker mile in three minutes, 48 seconds, the fourth fastest indoor time ever. Well, it's one of those things where it's really never comfortable during the race. So you kind of got to keep your foot on the gas the entire time. And that's pretty scary when you're a long way from the finish. Um, we just ha have to have trust in your fitness that you'll, uh, you'll make it to the line.